Because the reason why people say college is a scam is because you're giving out more money than you feel like you're receiving. Beautiful Queen of Sheba. Yes, so great was the beauty of this magnificent black woman. It has become legendary. And now out of the midst of 3,000 years. Um, welcome back to my channel. I decided that I wanted to talk about college, um, especially since it's a big part of my life. I go to a elite small institution and it is a PWI. I just wanted to talk about the 10 things that I wish I knew before college um, that could have saved me a lot of time and saved a lot of pain, heartache, and money. <laughs> um, by the way, these don't have like any like particular meaning to the order that they're they're given. It's literally just me just going at it with um, a list that I created. So number one, it's all right to change my mind. I wish I knew it was okay for me to change my mind. If you are from any African country, any black parent, any person of color at all, you would know that the only thing they know is doctor, lawyer, or engineer. And I originally went into college wanting to become a doctor have no shade nothing towards it you know like i actually really love the profession i think it's great could i imagine myself getting up every single day doing the job no no it really just it hit me like i was i was in college my first year my first semester and i chose all the courses that i needed to fulfill my pre-med requirements and I hated it. I absolutely hated it. I hated going to class. I hated the courses. I hated ev everything I hated. And how am I gonna tell my mom that I don't want this? For me, it was more of a social aspect than it was medical. And that made all the difference. Everything seems like it, 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 it could be bad if you're not a doctor, a lawyer, or an engineer, and that's not reality. It's just not because if it were there would be pretty much no other jobs happening with that being said you cannot be like indecisive until your senior year um, so give yourself like the first and the second semester to really figure out what you what you really want so the next thing on the list I should do things that I love so this is actually like up what I just said I spent a lot of time figuring out where my heart lies for things that I, I love doing and if you don't know what you love that's the great thing about college is it allows you to move around and figure out um, what you actually like I honestly I just wanted to figure out where I wanted myself to be the third thing, third thing, it will not be the best four years of my life. <laughs> so anybody who tells you that college was the best four years of their life is lying. Unless like you had a smooth sailing four years, which for most people is not realistic. Four years. A lot happens in a week. What made that person who came up with the best four years in my life say that? Because it wasn't. It isn't. I am in my third year approaching my fourth and it has not been the best four years of my life. And I'm saying this subjectively, expect hardships expect great moments but expect hardships and i think a lot of people who want to go to college or like 
see college on TV, the way that it's advertised, the way that people talk about it, it seems like it's this amazing experience where you just dive into it and it's like, oh, I'm gonna be partying, I'm gonna get great grades, and I'm gonna come up with this degree, and blah, 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 blah. No, it's not, it's not like that at all. Just like sugar, just like drugs, just like alcohol, just like anything, anything that seems great and fun has its downfalls. You can, you can come out of college with a great experience and most people do, but there are going to be some difficult times and you're going to have to learn to cope with them because that's what I did um, during tough times. How to find jobs on campus. So, when I first came on campus, obviously I was broke because I went to school out of state. Um, I didn't have anybody from my high school that went to the college that I attended. I didn't know anybody that was there already. Um, I had to make friends on my own and find different groups that I fit into. And so I spent a lot of time trying to figure out how to make money because we love money. I talked to administration. I talked to people that I, I gradually became friends with. Um, I read flyers. I talked to faculty. I talked to professors. Um, and that's the key thing too, is to always be aware of your environment in college um, to help you with these types of things because the jobs are out there the stuff is out there the problem is are you willing to take the time out and search for it and like advocate for yourself um, to get the things that you want or are you just going to sit there or walk past it make excuses for why you can't get this out in the third. Do not be afraid to ask for help. Do not be afraid to ask for help. That is the key to getting what you want in college and that is called networking. So the main way that I found jobs, the main way that I found positions, the, way, the main way that I found different things is through networking. You create this bridge, this opportunity for yourself and advocating for yourself to make sure that you get the things that you need. Number five, you will not find the love of your life in college. Um, you won't find the love of your life in college. I... <sighs> I mean you could it happens to some people but i'm telling you it's like a small percentage <laughs> have also seen the downside to them they're not very mature i think going into college a lot of people like oh i'm about to find myself a little a little chocolate man i think the maturity happens like junior to senior year Junior to senior year is like your peak. What it, it didn't become real to me until I was like in it. And I was like, well, I can't deal with the cheating. And he needs to take care of me. So. Number six, how to manage my money. So in college, it is absolutely pivotal that you learn how to manage your money. People have the hardest time understanding the difference between saving and managing your money. Yes, you should save, but you don't have to, to be like Mr. Krabs cheap on us. Like, you need to learn how to manage your money. If I get $100, I'm going to figure out how to make that $100 last me a week with at least $5 bill saved up inside of the bank account. You are going to live on campus, but like in another state, the amount of money that you're spending compared to your friends is going to be, wow. There will be plenty of opportunities on campus that allow you to get free food, that allow you to get prizes, that allow you to get everything basically that you would need and more. Seven, my friends will not be the ones from the start. 
my friends are not the same people that I came in with. It's like weeding out um, the weak ones, right? So I have a couple people, like I have three people from exactly the beginning where I was just like, whoa, like these people are really, they're really great, you know? It's a great feeling. I say keep your friendships, your, your circles very small, very tight because the drama comes fast with larger groups. People will show you themselves who they are you just have to believe it. Number eight, not everyone has the best intentions for me. So this is kind of piggybacking off of what I said before about friendships and weeding out the weak. Your friendships, some will be genuine and some will be people trying to make it through college. There will be people that will literally tell you that they're here to be your friend and will go behind your back to benefit themselves or they will use what you have produced to uplift themselves. The problem with college is that people stay in those situations because they feel like this is the only these are the only people that are there for me and it's not true. The best person to look out for you is yourself. Number nine, who to talk to for different situations. There are many different situations that you're going to, to get into. So, and I wish I knew who to contact to get what I needed to get done. Academically, who did I need to reach out to? Financially, who did I need to re um, reach out to? And socially, who did I need to reach out to? So for academics, check if your um, school has an office dedicated to students who need help with academics. Do they have a tutoring system? Do they have workshops? Do they have online things that you can do? Do they have um, specific networks that you can reach out to to help you with your academics and to make sure that your, your school year is a successful one? Um, financially, who to reach out to? So once you have established a good I, I recommend establishing good networks between you and administration. CC them on an email. Make sure that you're CCing them on an email. Make sure that um, you are in consistent contact with your financial aid office. Make sure that you are always advocating for yourself and making sure that that you're not being scammed. Because the reason why people say college is a scam is because you're giving out more money than you feel like you're receiving and the best way to even it out or for things to get better is to advocate for yourself do apply for um for anything that means money for you in terms of your academics or whatever extracurriculars that you are invested in um so making sure that you have those laid out will significantly help you and socially who do i reach out to so in college, there's going to be flyers. There's going to be like, um, there's going to be like a lot of different advertisements for different groups on campus. Um, sometimes they might have fairs. Um, the club fairs on campus will, they'll tell you what they're about. You know, um, sometimes it helps looking online to see what the college has available to see ahead of time um, what will work for you. I learned through friends um, what different groups they were involved in for me to, to find a place where I felt comfortable. Number 10, the party scene at a PWI. The party scene was very different from what I had pictured, what I had imagined. Um, it's very frat and sorority affiliated um there's like a heavy presence on campus what was my first party like <laughs> ah! okay so my first party was in a dorm room and it was during pre-orientation and it was it was quite a time it was like a group of us like we were a whole clique um and it was 
it was funny it was really funny it was funny it was funny um and that was pre-orientation the first time that i went to a frat that experience was very different from what i was used to um seeing the racial dynamic was like very intense at some point um and it gets better over time like going out to the party scene um always have a buddy system always go out with somebody that that you're friends with and it's very different from what you see on tv so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and hearing about my experience at a pwi and some of the things that i wish that i knew before i went to college yeah till next time Woo! emerges today's beautiful black queen naturally beautiful radiant she is black essence and her beautiful natural hair is her crowning glory today's beautiful queen uses afro sheen 